What do you think about the ruling today? What's the surprise ruling? Even the administration didn't argue that it was a tax. It looks like the court has found a way to find Obamacare constitutional without answering the question of the Commerce Clause and the individual mandate as it was argued within the Commerce Clause. That's a surprise to all of us, and they avoided the question of a definition on what is interstate commerce. But if Congress can impose a tax, if you don't purchase a product that's approved or produced by the federal government, if they can do that, then as one of the justices said, they can require you to buy broccoli. I would go on and say they can require, require you to buy a washing machine, an automobile, uh, anything that they decide. That's commandeering our paycheck. And they would send the IRS to enforce that and levy a tax on us for not, not purchasing something they ordered us to buy, and that'll be taxed with interest and penalty on top of it, and the end result of the IRS coming into foreclose is they can confiscate private American property in the process. This is even more chilling to me than the expansion of the Commerce Clause. I haven't read again the full decision yet. That's what we think we know today, and that's my interpretation of what I, we think we know today. Where do we go from here, Congressman? We go right over here to the United States Congress, and that's, of course, where I serve. And our job and our responsibility now is to pick up where the Supreme Court left off and produce a full 100% repeal of Obamacare. And I don't want to hear anybody talk about a partial repeal or tweaking this law. It's all got to go. It's offensive to American liberty, whether it's offensive to the Supreme Court or not.